everybody, it's Jenny J, 1911. We have a gun to talk about tonight that is so, so super fun. And I have just loved taking this thing out to the range and shooting it. I'm talking about the Ruger New Model Blackhawk Convertible. And as you can see, my cylinders are completely empty. Um, so we're safe and good to go. So this particular gun is a six shot single action revolver. And we looked up the serial number. This one was actually made in 1981. And the Blackhawk is chambered in a three fit. This Blackhawk is chambered in a 357 Magnum, which also means of course we can shoot 38 special out of it. Now the cool thing about this is that it's also convertible. So it comes with an extra cylinder and this extra cylinder we can shoot nine millimeter out of. And what's even cooler about this is we don't need a moon clip for this because of the way it was machined. And if you have one of these, you can actually look inside and you can see the line inside where it actually stops this from going all the way through. You can see I don't need a moon clip. And it's really cool because my rounds are gonna stay right there. So, that was a really nice bonus to be able to get one of those like that too. Um, so this particular gun has a 4.62 inch barrel. It was also made in the seven and a half inch barrel. It weighs 36 ounces. And this one is one of the newer two screw models, which means it has the transfer bar. Now the older three screw models did not have a transfer bar. So that meant that if you didn't have a transfer bar, you needed to leave one of the cylinders or one of the chambers open, not put, a, not put a round in it, so that it wouldn't accidentally fire. So, I wanna talk a little bit about the history of Ruger, okay? Sturm, Ruger, and company had only been in business for six years when they decided to introduce the Black Hawk, and that was in 1955. So the Black Hawk is actually named after the Stutes Black Hawk automobile, which I thought was kind of cool because, you know, it's named after a car. And when Colt stopped making their uh, single action army revolver in 1941. And so by the time about 1953 rolled around, Western movies and Western TV shows were hugely popular. And what did every cowboy in the Westerns carry? A revolver, right? So Bill Ruger decided we're gonna jump on this and we're gonna create a revolver. So he decided to copy the Colt single action army when he produced his single six in a 22. And it ended up being so popular that it completely forged the path to create a centerfire gun and it ended up being tougher than any Colt and they came up with the Ruger Blackhawk. So the Ruger Blackhawk is actually really versatile in the fact that it comes in so many different calibers. It comes in, just to name some of the more popular ones, it comes in the 44 Magnum, it comes in a 44 40 Winchester, it comes in a 45 Colt, and lots and lots of others. So one thing that um, I wanna talk about is the 357 Magnum. It was designed, that, that was actually, that caliber was designed in the United States by three gentlemen. So one gentleman was named Philip Sharp, one was named Douglas Wesson, and the third was named Elmer Keith. Now, that was created in 1934. They actually started producing it in 1935 and selling it. So Elmer Keith, this guy right here, if you have not read this book, you definitely should read this book. Um, it's called Hell, I Was There. And he is one of the most interesting people. And I think that if you know anything about uh, firearms and especially revolvers, you know about Elmer Keith. So definitely pick up that book if you haven't read it yet. So anyway, this 357 Magnum was actually based on the earlier caliber, the 38 Special and it actually began the whole Magnum era for handguns. Um, so it's really cool because when I took this 
out to the range. I had already shot um, our Smith & Wesson 686-4 and you know I didn't know what to expect but this thing is so smooth when it shoots and it's just absolutely just so beautiful. Um, and I've only been shooting 38 specials out of it. I haven't shot any 357 Magnums out of it yet. That's next. I can't wait to try those. Uh, but it's just been absolutely like shooting, you know, something like butter. It's just so smooth and lots of fun to shoot. So, and I know my daughter has got to shoot it and she really enjoyed it. Um, it's just been a really fun little toy to have. And the trigger is great on it. And it's so easy to use. I love the fact too, since I'm a reloader, I love the fact that that brass stays right there in the cylinder. And as soon as I'm done shooting, I don't have to paw around on the floor for my brass. It's right there. I just empty it into my hand. So anyway, if you have not ever tried a Black Hawk, definitely pick one up if you, if you find one somewhere. It's just so much fun to shoot. And I really look forward to being able to talk to you all again soon.